But here we are, making the attempt on layer two again. 16 levels. We hopefully get some uh, more defensive type abilities. Because that uh, floor 10 and up, oof. That stung right in the pride just a little bit. I'm not even vent there on that stung. As much as I would like that. Stamina reduced by 10% kind of bad now that I know. Mm, fine. I don't want to take the unending resolve defensive, but this early because the the haste one would just be so much better overall, in my opinion. Hello. What do we got? Uh, uh, forced to take that. That's not voting well. Make sure that patrol's not coming in behind me to gank me while I'm while I got my back turned. Soulbind. Ha! Ha ha! Ha! I knew they were coming back. Surprise! I ambush the ambushers. How do you like that? Die! If that goes into one of those, then I want to go this way. Because worst it's going to do is loop around to here, and this is probably the exit. but I don't have much of a choice on that round, on that uh, front. See, this one I guarantee leads down to there. Your soul Revenant. Then we go this way. Drain life, or this one's not good this low because it's only for a minute and a half. So it's the only one that'll actually have any long-term effect for the rest of the run. Oof! At not getting really decent ones off the bat. Luckily, there's a fair number of floors between me between the start point and uh, where things actually start to get hard. Everything proceeds as I have foreseen. Oh, it's just from the one side. Interesting.
this way. Phantasma. For the Phantasma, one could say. That's probably down in this area. Uh, of course, it's a trap. And there's the vent here. Approach. That leads right back to the beginning, which means had I gone this way, I would have gotten that immediately, but that's okay. Thankfully, this time I remembered and put the correct talents on. Or at least I have the correct talent that was incorrect last time I was here. Spells have chance to grant crit chance for 15 seconds. Still the better option. We already came from that direction. There's no phylacteries to break. That's just an unraveling fragment. Just shy of 200 Phantasma at the end of Floor 1. I don't want this increasing the rain of the rain radius of rain of fire as I learned as we learned last time looks good on paper but it's a trap now this one casting chaos bolt instantly grants you five phantasma on floor one out of 16 that's amazing I don't really care what enemies have plundered anima or not I'm gonna try and kill them all anyway so getting that extra phantasma off every chaos bolt also leans me into trying to cast Chaos Bolt as much as possible, because then I can buy as many of the pa anima powers from the vendors as possible, since I will be seeing them six times total. The treacherous all are bound here. 
You got some Necrolords. That's five. That's ten free, uh, free Phantasma. Here's another fifteen. No point in trying to do it with all of those because they're. And the spike tip is going to die before I get that anyway. There we go. Prioritizing Chaos Bolt as much as possible. You know, I don't like that your choices are with uh, Warlock Pets are literally either he attacks when you attack only or he attacks when you're attacked only or he just doesn't attack period whatever whatever just happened to uh the way the pet control used to be of uh passive aggressive defensive and defensive was the best choice Strike and healing. Uh, oh, there's another. Nice. More crit chance. It constitutes just flat out more chaos bolt damage, which is always good. Just inch forward out of that little swirl. Get my free one percent int. Yes, I can. Yes, thank you, Rune Carver. I heard you the first time. He repeats the line every single time you look in the direction that they are. So it's sometimes a good hint, but it gets a little incessant after a while. Another circular triangle. No, I, in answer to the unasked question, Havoking a Chaos Bolt does not give you double uh, Phantasma, it's on the cast. So you're only casting it once, the damage is just getting basically duplicated. Oh no! More Phantasma, yes. Good. Uh, this requires me to stand still the longest. Get rid of that first. Break those and get away from this trap. Perfect. More walker. I'm looking for my war story. It's somewhere close by. I can sense it. Okay. Let's do this into this. So that'll kill off all those. You give me the shards. Beware. To chaos bolt him once. Perfect.
Oh, don't go. Yes. Sure, just just waddle on over there and punch him for me. Not a big deal. One half shot. <laughs> it's like a one shot, but better. Okay, well, that's all cleared out. That has a door. I wish it would mark where the doors are when you encounter them so that you're not left guessing on, well, that maybe could be a way forward. Maybe. That would be, that'd be a benefit. You could even be a purchasable upgrade for all I care. It would just be a nice little quality of life improvement. Everybody likes quality of life improvements. Sword. Spells attacks until 35% versatility or 10% intellect. Go with the versatility if it's flat damage. Damage increased. When you attack a new creature, you're healed. That's just the one time, so we'll boost Voidwalker damage. What I want is to boost Voidwalker health along the way. That's ideally going to be the most useful thing in the long run. Like the upcoming boss is a bruiser. Sounds 
summon demon spell is instant or health stone increases all healing. Probably gonna take choking chains for this because I need to be able to keep Voidwalker in front of me at all times. Naturally take the cheap one. Naturally take the uh, random choice. Chaos Bolt has a 15% chance to respond to soul shards. That's actually good in the long run. Health Funnel also reduces damage. Or I could increase my max health. Hmm. It's not what I stacked before. Let's go with increasing my max health. Because I think my max health influences the pet's max health as well. And I win I, because I get both. That is good. Get that out of the way and get the extra plundered cell there. Because it's only level 3, killing Maulright increases max health by 2% up to doubling it. Yes, that'll be useful. More health for me, presumably more health for Voidwalker. We'll check. He's got 28.5 thousand right now. Let's find a Marat. That looks like a dead end. Oh no, that crisscross is back, so I should actually go this way and down to there and then double back. I think there's my rats in there, which will help me. Oh good. So that's one my rat dead. He had, he had what, 28 and a half thousand? Nine thousand. Yep. So when my max health increases, the Voidwalker's max health increases. So that was a good pick. Good. Double this up. Now Chaos Bolt gives me ten Phantasma per cast. That is, I probably don't need more than one more stack of that at the most, because then I will have. I'll just be overwhelming. I'll be gaining so much uh, Phantasma that I I'll run out of things worth spending it on. Hello, my friend, my friend Acadian, how is thou with the doings? Definitely taking a different route strategy with it. Uh, I have high hopes. High hopes. Goofy movie level high hopes. Oop. I missed something. I missed something very important. And a, and a thing to loot. I almost... 
I almost missed 1% intellect. That that would have been a great tragedy. Yep, confirmed. Player max health influences uh, pet max health. Very important. choice on that, even though I don't want that one. chest up ahead. That affected two, that affected one, that affected three, that affected all of them. So I need to figure this one out, then cycle back to this one, and this one, and finally back to that one. Unlocked. I would, I would love to take this one, but I can't afford to lose 10% of my health, so I will take only the 3%. That is not the direction I wish to go. I don't know why they're accurate from so far away right now. does double damage, so that's something. This way, and see what's hiding over here that was behind this locked door. Or there was no door, and I just avoided it because it was sta- Nope, there was a door, but there's legitimately nothing there. Huh. That doesn't happen very often. I'm surprised this entire corridor is empty. That's kind of rude.
yeah, there's usually like an orb or urns or something, but that room was just completely empty. There was nothing there at all. No mobs, no orb, no urn, nothing. Maybe it was supposed to be a shortcut that you were supposed to be able to open a door for? I could do without this guy healing. That that would be nice. But I guess the more healing he does, the more chaos bolts I can pop into him, me giving me more uh, free phantasma. <laughs> no, the game knows I'm too powerful. Mm, I'll take that one. Onward and upward. Ah. Uh, itchy eye socket, followed by itchy nose. Why must everything itch all the time? Oh, this room looks like it's going to be simply delightful. So much inviting fire on the ground, you know? Grab this guy because he's by himself. Let me loot it. Thank you. Uh. Uh, another one that doesn't really help me a lot. But we do what we must. We get what we are given. And we work with it. No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm the one that does the fanning of flames, not you. Stop that. Oh, so much Phantasma. Two more over here. Beware. Nice. Beware. Yes, yes, I'm hunted.
damage. That's just two infernals. That 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 hurts. Uh, continuously getting forced into the rain of fire build is not good. Not gonna help me in the long run at all. Fifteen percent to primary stat plus passive healing. Yes, please. I also made a discovery. I will see this rare again later in this in this uh, corridor run. And if I kill him again, you do not get the ability doubled. It's it's really annoying. They 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 deemed that to be too powerful. But 9% crit strike, but 15% intellect. These and pull unknown lever because that's never caused anything bad to happen. Well, if that leads to the end, I need to go this way. Because right's always right, so go left. And I am rewarded for my diligent exploration. By getting demon skin talent for free. Which means I can now take Dark instead of burning rush this time and we will put that on to shift r as an emergency button saving that one for level 10 ooh yeah definitely yeah i get the 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 fire damage resistance but that that presumes that the later floors are going to be fire. But it's still better than nothing. That is, that's probably one of the best abilities you can steal from mobs. Oh yay, it's our favorite. Check nothing. Start with this one. Started at that one, so this one. Nope. Haha, -ha, that was lucky. Cooldown of Scouring Tithe, which really doesn't matter because I'm Havocing it every time. Or 75 Free Phantasma, which I'm going to get... I get 10 for every Chaos Bolt, so I might as well take the Scouring Tithe cooldown and have something a little more substantive. Because at least having Scouring Tithe be a little faster can do something. Take your accursed strength and choke on it. That almost felt like that worked. That could almost have been a thing. Yep, over a thousand Phantasma right before the first boss of this run.
Yes. I don't care what ones carry the plundered anima because I'll be I'll be killing them anyway. Movement speed from the stewards irrelevant, but 30% chance now to get two soul shards when I cast Chaos Bolt, which I will already be casting excessively to get the the free phantasma. souls down there I don't think this floor is gonna actually have any souls it's only the three nine and 15 is it 15 maybe that big guy take the cheap take this one Take both of these for later because definitely this is damage when you fall below 20% health immediately heal to full. Definitely taking that. Uh, double infernal. Three, four, five. Yes, take that and increase uh, Voidwalker health by 50%. Definitely. Oh, perfect. And an extra 6% crit damage and healing. pet damage or cloud surrounds you preventing things from targeting you from outside the mist summon demon gets double health and damage immediately and every time you go up a floor bonus is lost if it dies or is dismissed which would be very unfortunate voidwalker now has a hundred and sixteen thousand health Let's see, can I actually see, like, his damn, no. I, it's kind of irritating that you can't see the stats of your pet. I'm gonna wait 15 seconds and use the second potion to give me an ex another extra death count. Just because I might be slightly paranoid about those later levels, but, you know, better overprepared than underprepared. Of that. No, no. So many free chaos bolts. <laughs> 80 Phantasma just from the boss fight. That means I cast 8 chaos bolts. <laughs> Precisely, precisely magnanimous. <laughs> Chaos Bolt no longer consumes soul shards. No, thank you. Uh, when Scouring Tide generates soul shards, double moves of speed and 100% crit strike for 10 seconds. M maybe. Gaining a stack uh, increases it by two. damage, firstly, which is less relevant and only for 15 seconds. I think I'll take that off of uh, Scouring Tithe. Grab all these free phylacteries. Fantastic. That could have been bad if I didn't play that exactly the way I did. 
<laughs> and hello, Mr. Ma Rat. And goodbye, Mr. Ra Rat. down Okay, I, I really wanted to see what double damage Chaos Bolt would be doing, but, you know, Voidwalker decided I do too much damage, so I'm just going to kill everything for you. Because Voidwalker is rude. path right there. Looks like a very short uh, side passage there. Why? Why is it always the Reign of Fire buffs? I mean, Reign of Fire now has a 100% crit strike or er, crit strike chance now, I think. Yeah, it, it it's crit its critical strike chance has been doubled is what it is. Uh 9% versatility. That leads up. Do I want to go up? I don't see where it could be going. <laughs> exactly. Warlock's like, look at me! I'm the Warlock now! I thought it went upstairs, and the door said, haha, no. Take your 3% versatility and be gone! Be gone, pleb! Chaos Bolt. 
<laughs> and Super Chaos Bolt. 20k damage. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. There's an elite. Sixty four percent increased health from Ma Rats. Which is then also added to the Voidwalker. Fantastic. I'm feeling a lot more prepared for those upper, upper levels now. But we'll see. Plus another 20% intellect. Forty-five percent chance for Chaos Bolt to refund shards. Hmm, <laughs> now what I just need is Soul Conduit. <laughs> Lumps or woozles. New creature healed for 11,000 or scouring tithe. I mean, we'll give this one a try and definitely file a blight, which reminds me that before I need it, I should make all this healing supplies. Thank you. Go away. The bird is great, as long as it is actually bringing me something. Otherwise, it's just in the way. Starting to think this mist aura extends out past the normal aggro radius and it's touching mobs, which is what's pulling them. And 
then they're all jumping me and going, you're violating quarantine. Ah, it's social distancing. It's social distancing in Torghast. But dead. What do we get? Apply brittle bone dust to all players and enemies within thirty yards, increasing their chance to receive critical hits by twenty five percent. But does that apply to me? That that's that's a very important thing. If there are five or more enemies within ten yards, Skull releases a stone storm, a bone storm, bone storm, inflicting shadow damage to every two seconds to all nearby players and enemies. I mean, it says all nearby players. I I want to say that does not. Oh, it does include me. Well, I don't like either of those options then. I think I'll just take the 9% crit, stack it with the one I have for a nice 12% increased Chaos Bolt damage. Just direct. Yep, that's that's what I suspected initially, but I was never 100% sure. Still, 12% uh, bonus Chaos Bolt damage because Crit Strike translates directly to bonus damage that is uh significantly good ah there's what i'm looking for i knew the fact that the rope was there meant that there is a grapple point somewhere and there's always an anima cell hehehe <laughs> means free anima cell scouring tithe periodic damage increased by 75 percent or I, i'm just gonna avoid this one because focusing too much on this one's what led to my downfall last time even though it's really good the problem is you have to devote to it and hope that things don't chunky for three-fourths of your health in one hit which in this long of a slog with uh only being halfway through uh the lair that's not a wise investment apparently i had five infernals it was ridiculous how was that not enough oh well we're playing defensive this time Exactly. Oh no, that 
that anima power by itself is great, but I had the combination where my my <laughs> Yep. But I I had a really good combo on my previous run, but it made no difference because things were just three shotting the Voidwalker and then coming straight for me, so it didn't matter that I had five infernals. That only changed two, that only changed three, this changed all four. Put that here. Get out of my way. I like how he moves when I don't want him to move, and then he doesn't move when I want him to move. It's like he's being... <laughs> yep. damage increase or damage increase temporarily. I will take the 50% permanent damage increase for him. As opposed to the 200% every so often damage increase. I know, right? Flicks tower damage equal to 40% of all damage you receive split amongst enemies within 5 yards, but you may no longer step backward. 50% more health or extra infernal. That is a horrible choice you are forcing me to make, game. It's either make sure your demon can, might be able to stay alive or more firepower. It is literally forcing me to choose against my absolute best offensive one. It is forcing me to take this one because of the nature of this. But let's see. Uh, let's heal you back up to full. Voidwalker, 405.3 thousand health. You think that might be enough to survive? Just maybe? Or should I just keep stacking? At this rate, I, I think I should just keep stacking. I mean, I'm on floor 9, and that was a blade, and I don't like that. I also don't like that I uh, have to heal him up. Yeah, it's possible, and purchasing it is generally more uh, likely. And gee, what a shock, I am on a purchase floor, so we'll see. 24... 25. 27% intellect increase. Let's grab this one. Hmm. Maybe. This one definitely not. And that's just... Getting a stack of Soul Remnant Blessing is just so rare that this isn't worth it. So I guess Chaos Bolt's now going to give me 15 anima per bolt. That's about the max that I want, and it looks like I'm fighting an ooze in three floors. Cheap. Easy. Uh, I will grab that now for when things get hard. I don't want that because that reduces my, my stamina, despite the fact that I really want that 20% aced. Healthstone doubles all healing. Do I have one of those already? Uh, I do not. Man, these are all terrible choices. Oh, increase max health by another 15%. And I'll take the Ravenous Cell for the next floor. 3% mastery. And... What the heck, I'll take that one. This one's awful. Why would I ever use Corruption as a nut? Well, it's now Instant Cast. Reduces movement speed and deals double damage. That's... That's not terrible, but it's just not worth Corruption, though. It's just so offensive to 
be persuaded to use that ability as a non-affliction warlock. But that's awful. That one's meh. I mean, I could just save the 173, but it's not like I'm not going to be at 1,000 by the time I uh, get to the next one, right? I guess I'll save it. That one, that one. Okay, so control there for that. Oh, look what I got. <laughs> look what I get. <laughs> Just, I I feel happy that I chose the, uh, the health on the Voidwalker. <laughs> Yay me. I get the extra Infernal anyway. And either 150 or Inferno Talent. I don't know. I don't know. The Inferno Talent... Reign of Fire damage is increased by 20% and has 20% chance to generate Soul Shard Fragment. But the problem is, I all of my other abilities are pointing towards using Chaos Bolt, not Inferno, or in Reign of Fire. But I am summoning three Infernals at a time now, so... I could still pick it and use Reign of Fire intermittently instead of spamming it. Because 150 extra Phantasma, that's just worthless. I can get that in three seconds. But but free talent's free talent. So I guess I'm going to have to go with that one. Now I have that and Cataclysm. <laughs> that's true. I do have all those undesired... And it, it does have double crit chance, so... I guess that's something. It's not a terrible choice, it's just not the best choice right now. I mean, realistically, if I got the one that uh, made Chaos Bolt cost health instead of Soul Shards right now, that'd be ideal, because then I would spend all of my Soul Shards on Reign of Fire and just be able to spam Chaos Bolt for free. Speaking of a Reign of Fire upgrade. health all the way up now. There we go. Let's see. Cataclysm there. Nothing there. 80% max health increase. Excuse me, try 82% max health increase. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, that is part of the main burst rotation, is to actually spam Rain of Fire. It's just, right now, there's no reason not to when I have all these great Chaos Bolt buffs. Hello, Mr. Marrat. I have a Chaos Bolt I need to unload. Goodbye, Mr. Marrat. I ha I keep I almost forgot about the ravenous anima cell, but I don't want the moss one seeker for that. Uh what do you know what um what one I should be focusing for the ra the cell in this area? Ooh, a key. Cuz I definitely don't want my rat and I definitely don't want the seeker. The disciple maybe? Or the Disciple will just uh, fall over dead after the Voidwalker slaps it in the face. I'm just gonna... Okay. 
Okay. Alright, get out of my way. I need to test something. Voidwalker, go go take care of that. Let, let's just see how much damage it actually does. Ah. Um Um did you I think I'll get the soul binder. I'm just gonna point out, Voidwalker is uh chunking these guys. Tomorrow, Scooper, skeletons drop ten times as much phantasma, so that's yeah. Oh no. Oh no. The choices. Oh no. Do I get what? A fourth infernal? Or do I get Roaring Blaze, which is conflagrate increases channel demon fire, immolate, incinerate, and rain of fire damage by 25% on targets. Mm. I think I want the extra infernal because this is less effective without using the legendary that gives me the third charge of confl conflagrate so what what are we up to now three bonus infernals <laughs> yeah the the infernal one is superior damage because I don't have the comp, I don't have the wombo combo that uh, fits in with uh, the profile for it, uh, Roaring Blaze. I I can I can see the ridiculous amount of um phantasma. I'm like not even I think I'm like halfway through the floor after I only just got it and I'm already up to almost 600. Seven hundred. <laughs> see, that leads to stairs going up. This leads to dead end chamber with hidden uh, animal orb. Oh, and that's where the chest is. I need a sign. <laughs> Oh look, another glutton's glut guys. <sighs> just the teleport cooldown for demonic circle is just not worth it because I'm not gonna use demonic circle often enough. I guess I get 20 anima per chaos bolt now. And there's the last key. Is it alright gonna come back? Thank you. Oh, and my uh, secret spices has been completely filled. So, grand total. <laughs> As of right now, Voidwalker's health, 772.5 thousand health. I don't think he's going down anytime soon. 
Oh no. And now damaging spells and abilities have a chance to heal 5% of my and my demon's health. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> yes. I love alliteration though, so that's 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 perfect. Mr. Phantasma Pockets. That's the yeah. This is ridiculous. The end the end is right up there. I entered this floor with about 125 Phantasma. I am almost at 900 from one floor. The Void Walker is doing 15% of that mob's health per swing. That, wow. The different builds, the different builds are absolutely astounding. I have to say, I really enjoy Twisting Corridors because of just how, how overpowered you become. Yes. I believe the Void Rocker requires power! Unlimited power! Or something like that. Uh, level 10 end floor boss says what? <laughs> no. No. When you attack a new creature, you're healed for 12,000 blah 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 blah. I heal 25,000 health when I target a new target. That's about a four. That's over a fourth of my health. <laughs> Yo It is the Nico my my brother in the warlock Doing well so far got just got to floor 11 and uh, no major issues so far. This run looks like I might actually succeed. No, 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 no. Just got to fear off that guy, make him go away. At least dead. Rest are dead. So much Phantasma. Okay, I just entered this floor with like 900. I now have almost 1400 Phantasma. Next vendor is getting completely uh, looted. Every item, every power. I don't care if it's completely worthless. I might as well buy it.
Hello, Mr. Raw Rat. Goodbye, Mr. Raw Rat. Death. Death. Let's see. I should do this area and then the middle first before going out and around into here. Yes, I will happily take an extra percent of uh, intellect. You are hunted. Worthless, your damaging spells and abilities empower your next melee strike. I guess I will take the uh, cooldown reduction on the ability that I'm not going to use. That, that's the issue that I also see on these later floors. They kind of run out of good abilities to give you, and so they just don't. A rare elite that I have not fought yet. Here, have four Infernals. Five Infernals. Six Infernals. D.E.D. -E -D, dead. A little bit over there. A little bit over there. When in combat, release an uncontrollable howl at random intervals. This howl inflicts shadow damage and interrupts spells. Eh. Not great. 9% crit or 45% max health. Um, yes. More health, please. Look at that huge jump that it just gave my Voidwalker. Oh, no. Health funnel does nothing. <laughs> Nine hundred thirty-five thousand. He almost has a million health. <laughs> oh my gosh! I shall call him Mr. Mittens. Yes. Just gonna point out, not even half done with the second floor, almost at 2,000 Phantasma. Definitely makes sense. I almost wasn't able to cast a Chaos Bolt on an Elite because my Voidwalker was punching it too hard. What is this nonsense? <laughs> my Voidwalker and the Goon Squad. Warlocks like, don't make me call the Brute Squad. 
Voidwalker's like, I'm on the Brute Squad. Warlock's like, you are the Brute Squad. <laughs> uh, when he has two million health and does three times my damage. I'm pretty sure currently I still hypothetically can do more damage than it. It's just, it attacks faster than I do, which means I can't get my damage off. Uh, file of Light. And no choice. At this point, I don't think it matters if I get those garbage ones or now. <laughs> yes. Excellent. Grabbed all of that. Now to grab all of this, ooh, lever chest, and then double back through the little loop to make sure that I picked up everything, because there might be another rare hiding in this area. So much phantasma. So much Phantasma. Come on, Ford Walker, get out of the way. You're, you're breaking the mood. Wow! That couldn't possibly have been any easier. Oh no! Oh no! Now my spells heal 10% health! <laughs> yes. Precisely. Haha! -ha! I am I was right. There is another rare in here. And this is why you always check every nook and cranny. For all the little delicious pieces. Like an English muffin. No terrifying roar for you. Stop that. Uh oh. It's okay. It's okay. He's already dead. <laughs> now, the disappointing thing is, I will not get the. Uh... Oh! I guess I was just really unlucky that time. Look at that. 30% increased in alert and passive healing wall movement. Yay. It must have just been whatever that rare that was that I had on my other run that just didn't duplicate his ability. <laughs> It must have been just that specific rare, because I think it was um, it was the wand that uh, when you first attack a target, it cuts their health in half and then they regen. So I guess that that specific one doesn't uh, double stack, because that'd be ridiculous. Reduces targets targets uh, health by 100% and then regens it. Wait, what? <laughs> Oh my gosh, I, I can imagine. Just, just look at these stats! Look at these stats! 
This early in the expansion, I would kill for these stats. Like, you know, like, not a person. Like, maybe a carrot or something. <laughs> I'll kill vegetables. Literally, I will kill vegetables. Which is ironic, because there's a druid in our guild named Vegetables. <laughs> oh my gosh, that... That crit strike and that hit. I don't even need the bonus 30% in exchange for stamina now. I just don't need it. Go, Mr. Mittens. Slap the boss. Slap him. <laughs> it's like... I know he's casting things, but you can see the Voidwalker is healing for a hundred thousand health every time a spell goes off. <laughs> uh, fear instantly kills? No. Yes. Yes. 50% more health. 1.3 million. One point three million health, Voidwalker. Broken. Absolutely broken. And now to go ruin this broker's day by buying everything. Literally everything. <laughs> back on. I don't know why it turns off every single floor, every single summon, everything. It's weird. Oh, what to get? Uh, we'll grab the free one, of course. We'll grab two plundered. Stun duration doubled. That's always great. Take the ravenous, because I can. Free versatility. Why not? More Phantasma Generation, because why not? Reduce that, because why not? Because why not? And because why not? I have zero need for those, and I have zero need for those. I still have almost 14,000. That's ridiculous. I'm going to take the stun, because I already have two stacks of this. Shadow Fury stun. Now nine seconds. Oh, this is a hard choice. Oh my gosh. Do I have the Blood Gorge Leech heal 15% max health on damaging spell, or increase max health by another 15%? I, I think the heal is probably the better option. Yeah. Constant free healing is probably better in the long run. And, uh, double... <laughs> double the, st the stun duration again. 12 seconds for Shadow Fury. Alright. Bring it, slime. Bring it! Well, that was easy. Two bosses down, one boss to go. And, like, six more floors. Or so. Steward can now heal or buff in combat. Demonic Gateway can be used once every three seconds, but I'm not going to be using it. And again, Soul Remnant is so rare, I guess. That'll be good to pop for the last boss. And now the hard part begins. And now the hard part begins. Let's uh, make sure to top him off. Oh my gosh, just... I, I'm healing 40... 
thousand every second, and it's barely trickling up. He just has so much health. I now understand how the healers feel when they have to heal Moo. <laughs> uh, Moo is our main tank and he's a bear druid, so, you know, massive health pool. You know, normally I would groan inwardly at seeing that it's uh, this, uh, that it's this floor, but uh, I'm okay with this. I am not nearly as intimidated as I thought I would be by seeing these. Dies. Another Marat will bite the dust. Oh no, it's an elite. Whatever will I do? Take the scouring tithe. Double Pelagos uh, buff. Grab the last one. Did he just... just... Oh, he ain't dead. He's right here. He's hiding. Dead. That was rude. Waits till I get him to 1% and then vanishes. How rude. Sometimes various grapple points are hidden, and then you find a rope later to grab a, a um, anima orb that was on top of one of the pillars. No, no. No how for you. Stalker and some of those. That is a fair number of these. Um, yeah, this warrants infernal. I need a charge. And rain of fire radius is again increased though I don't care about that. Well, this is terrible choices. I, I don't feel any need to use Cursive Tongues, and I don't feel any need to use Corruption. Then again, that is a neat ability. I just, I cannot for the life of me bring myself to use Corruption if I'm not Affliction. So I'm going to go with the other one. Did they... Did they reduce what, how many of these things drop the Puddles of Doom? Because didn't it used to be all of them? Like, I want to say it was all of them, but now it's not all of them. Marat kills. Um. There's a 
chest up there. Ta-da! What shall we do? Pull that. Pull this. Phantasma grants an absorb shield. <laughs> Better than uh, generating even more Phantasma that I don't need at this point. <laughs> and fire damage has a chance. Oh! Dealing fire damage has a chance to reduce the target's movement speed by 40% for 10 seconds. All I do is fire damage! That's great! And... I don't trust that, so I'm going to send an Eye of... I'm going to use that ability that Warlocks forget about and use Eye of Kilrog to just scout there. Yeah, that's what I thought. That leads to instant death. That only affects one, that affects two, that affects three, this one affects four. Oh, perfect. Boardwalker, out of the way. There we go. Let's see. 30% intellect can't jump. Attacks have a chance to do 31,000 damage over eight seconds. That is a horrid, horrid decision. Because that's a lot of intellect, and jumping is, eh, important. On this floor, eh, but this is supposedly the best warlock one in the all of Torghast. So we'll go with the corruption antenna. Dead Soul Miscreation.
Oh, and on ending resolve lasts a minute and a half. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll take the that one. Those grab the free soul remnant, thirty six per cent. Thirteen complete. Five more, I think. Five more sounds right. Boost him up to about that much. What happened to this million? That's not right. He should have like three times that health. strange. Where did all that bonus health go? I mean, the 433k, he should have 1.3 million. Uh, what? Why is the game cheating? Well, I, I think it might just be a typo because it doesn't look like he's taking any damage still, so we will press on. Maybe he has a debuff on him that I can't see for reasons. End of this floor, I'll summon a new one before I go up, just to, just to be sure. I mean, he's taken like no damage off these things anyway, so. And uh, I have the correct health, so. I, I suspect his health is just a typo. down because I can now afford to do that. I know. Let's see chain up there. Thought there's some phylacteries here. Oh good, those aren't elite, they're just big. Go forth. 
so that I can get around them and not get blasted off the edge like some some weakling. Oh, that's right. I have like an 18 second stun duration on this spell. <laughs> that's funny. I say 18, but it's like 12. Still, that is still a very, very long stun. <laughs> and that's the uh, fourth different elite that I have. Uh, fourth rare that I have found, unlike last time where I got the same two twice. No, no, don't just do random half damage to me. I'm not okay with that. I'm gonna step away just in case. Yep, I knew he was he was uh, feeding out that. Pools no longer damage, but heal, which they're pretty avoidable now that they're not. 45% max health increase, or 17,000 over 12 and reduce movement speed. I think gonna go with the health again. I don't have any debuffs. Just don't understand. It's okay, he's back up to half million. It's probably just a fluke. Probably. If I resummon him, he won't get the double health that he's supposed to have from um, this one. So I have to wait. I basically have to wait till the next floor. I'm gonna resummon a new one and then go up a floor after I kill everything. Yeah, if it wasn't for that one ability, I would definitely just resummon a new one. Here, have a 12 second stun. Enjoy. No. Oh, dang it. Don't knock me off, don't knock me off, don't knock me off. Okay, good. Infernal time. Probably overkill, but I'm not going to risk it. That shard generation. Infernal off CD, so death, death.
Okay. My rats explode. Cool. I only have one stack of that. Not amazing. Not terrible. Kind of a meh ability when there's only one stack. If you have multiple, or if you're in one that has lots and lots of Ma rats, then it's great. Second stun is ridiculous. I love it. Second stun for you. <laughs> and dead. Let's get over here. Oh, that's worthless to me. This I already have two, and have still yet to use a single healing item. <sighs> Is it worth sacrificing being able to jump for 30% intellect? I want to say yes, but I'm hesitant. Always. I see. And now we summon a new Voidwalker. 350,000 health and then we go up into the platform where we now get this one and then his health disappears to half because of the double health ability then kicking in because new floor and then we heal him up and we see 708 I don't know why he had uh, significantly more before. Was it a temp thing? I don't think it was. I haven't picked any temp abilities. Oh well. And for some reason this uh, floor is speedy fast. I know, right? Maybe it throws a hissy fit every time you go over a million. He's like, no, no, you can't be that strong. Throw a trick there so that I don't um, accidentally go flying off the edge for any reason. Is there anything actually worth it down there? Actually, I'm not even going to risk myself on this edge. I just don't trust. Yeah, there's nothing down there. So then there, so I don't have to deal with this little lip and accidentally go flying when I can't jump. For whatever reason, it cut my Voidwalker's health back down again when I teleported, but okay. What? 
that counted as resi- Okay, that's stupid. It's okay, this was a buy floor anyway, so there isn't anything of value that was really lost. No soul there, probably no soul there. Here, okay, the souls are all right here, so I have to go and pull them. This was a fight floor, I'd be kind of annoyed at my Voidwalker getting uh, so drastically weakened. Oh, and it's the ooze again. May I tempt you with my wares? I'll take that one, I'll take that one, I'll take that one, I'll take that one. Crit. More health. More cooldown. Why not? Why not? Why not? And because I can afford it. Your patronage is always a <laughs> With uh, 2300 still left over. Note to self, I still have two ravenous. Or just in case. The off chance that I actually use that. Well, this is worthless to me, so that one because it's a different option. Oh no. Oh no. I can either double the damage of this, which is by far the best ability, or I can add three seconds to Shadow Fury's stun duration. I could make it a 15 second stun. Um, I think 15 is, un is unnecessary when 12 is already over the top, so uh, double up the damage so it does 85% or 85,000 damage. And floor 16. I believe now is when the game is going to start to really hammer it home. And my Voidwalker got no health buff whatsoever. What is this? What is this nonsense? Why is... Okay, there it is. That was weird. Hmm. Which ghost do I slap with these? Or does it really matter? Should I just get this for Shambler in the shade with the, uh, with the Anima Cells? Or should I wait for, like, a fan the one of the Phantoms or something? Ah. Uh. Ah! Fantastic. That is helpful. Oh, yay! Meh. And, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Your attacks have a chance to curse your target, dealing 128,258 shadow damage to your target over 8 seconds. And they say destruction can't put dots. <laughs> ah. That would make sense. Ah. 
I, I was personally hoping the stand and the goop one would stack and give me twice the healing, but oh well. Not taking damage from it is bonus enough. Wait, really? Look who's back! Oh, I, I, I'm calling it right now. I get him as a champion. Excuse me, companion. Ah, oh, that's dumb. That's so dumb. Oh, I see. You were talking about something else. <laughs> there must be a slight delay, but... I, I am I am very much eager to see what happens here. Yeah, that I, I realized that after the fact. I think there's some sort of delay despite the fact that I don't have a delay. Maybe it's just chat, standard chat delay. Coil of rope. This means... There it is. Luckily, most of these maps are um, designed... The, the layouts are very... Uh, similar. So, like, there's only so many that they use. And so, you know, it's pretty much going to be right here every time. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. And now more now Shadow Fury is uh has a 15 second reduced cast uh cooldown. <laughs> oh boy, this this is going um actually better than the one where I had infinite infernals. Yep, it is confirmed. Croman is a companion. Of course, that also confuses me because um, when did he die? Thirty-five percent chance for versatility, which I think I already got once. Where is that one? I got. Yep. Your spells and attacks have a 70% chance to grant you versatility. Or no, chance to grant you 70% versatility. That's a lot. That is a lot of versatility. That's a level where even I can't turn my nose up to that stat. And you know how I dislike me my versatility. <laughs> yeah, it, well, I, I had a strong feeling because it mirrored the, um, what's his face, um, meat bat, meatball from before. I, I was just more confused because the last time we left him, he was alive. So when did he die? I mean, like maybe, uh, broken shore, but that'd be about it. Uh, 
I don't think so, because uh, we legitimately just never saw him again after Warlords. Another Orb of Replenishment, just in case. Floor 17. Last floor before final boss. Up. Oh. And now, arbitrarily, the Voidwalker's health is back. 1.1 million. And it's the teleporty room of death. This is my least favorite, uh floor setup. Well, that's not true. I, I dislike the one where you have to grapple to the other places more. And that's why, because guess what? I'm forced to fight everything all at once. I know! Okay, there was at least two elites there that I was forced to fight at the same time. I don't have anything dealing frost damage, so... When I attack a new creature, instantly heal for like 60,000 health now? Where is it? Right... Where'd it go? I know I have it. I gotta be blind, because I, I I just grabbed one. Where is it? Hmm. I don't see it. Oh well. No, the irony is he's actually still missing health, because he's at 1.1, he was up at 1.3. Oh, gee, what a shock. Uh, attacks have a chance to do nature damage. Sure, now my, now my attacks have a chance to do frost, shadow, and nature damage. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty awful, but, you know, of course there would be some... Dealing shadow damage is a chance to blind the target, or re reducing the chance to hit and cutting it in half. Well, I do do shadow damage, technically. I'd love to uh, get a spell out edgewise. No, 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 no. You know, I find it amusing that uh, I have the thing making me immune to the, the ground poop still avoid it just out of habit. Grab them. 
this. <laughs> Crit damage and healing, 18% increase. This guy doesn't want to go down. There we go. I couldn't find it because I was yep that's why I couldn't find it I was looking for the wrong color every time I attack a new creature I get 86,000 healing I found it I found the thing That's, uh, good to know. Yeah, the one I struggle with more is the one where you have to do the grappling hooks across, because it's a lot harder to get off of a platform if you don't want to fight them anymore. At least that was before I became ridiculous. Yes, yes, you periodically come back to life, I know. That should be the end, yep. Clean shot all the way to this, and floor 18 is the end after this. Wow. Yep. No, no, have a 12 seconds done. Oh, yeah, I get this now instead of way earlier. Oh, well. Scouring Tithe now does 150% more damage. Yay, arcane damage.
1.5 million health. Every team is the emotion, <laughs> Yes. Yes, they should do that. Let's see. Free ones here. Because I'm paranoid and I might as well. Oh my gosh, yes. And because I can. That out of there, that, 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 that. There's no more ash and things. There's nothing else that'll die. Haste by nine more percent. And 45 seconds on that. So many random keys. Ah, uh, yes. One thing that I remembered I need to do. Yoo Stick around and grant my group your blessing. Grab that. Oh no, he can slightly phase out of existence. I don't think it matters when his health is just plummeting. Oh, by the way, Infernal's off cooldown already. Yay! Yay! I now have the pet. Victory is mine. <laughs> it only took two and a half hours for a single run. <laughs> I just called in the Brute Squad. You know, not a big deal. <laughs> Voidwalker's just like, I'm on the Brute Squad. I, I just look at him and go, you are the Brute Squad. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Yay. Now I can eventually start the super duper hard ones. Oh. Uh. I have zero intention of starting it now, I'm just checking. Checking to make sure my hypothesis is, is correct. Yep. That's when it starts getting even harder. Oof. <laughs> 